This is Maria. Like many New Yorkers, she loves when her street opens up for community activities. But how does something like the Open Streets program get started? Everyone from the mayor to the city council plays a part. The road to Open Streets began with the mayor. The mayor manages city land. She can propose, veto, and enact laws. She proposes a budget for both the city and specific programs and hires people to get the job done. The city council proposed a bill to expand the popular program. The city council consists of 51 members who propose and vote on bills. They represent neighborhoods across the city. The mayor agreed with the expansion and the city council approved her budget. The approved plan went to the desk of the comptroller. The comptroller is like the city's financial advisor and accountant. She reviews the city's investments and finances. She looked at the numbers and discovered that open streets actually helped local businesses thrive. Each of New York's five boroughs has a president who listens and advocates on behalf of their local constituents and the issues they're facing. For example, how to make open streets more fair, accessible, and safe. The borough president can address these issues by appointing representatives to community boards or providing grants to organizations within their borough. The public advocate, not surprisingly, advocates on behalf of everyone in the city. He listens to any New York City resident and makes sure city agencies are responsive to our needs. So he made it easier to get permits for open streets and suggested that the initiative remain permanent. Maria's local offices helped her community keep open streets open for good. By voting, we get to decide on our elected leaders and, in turn, shape the future of the city we all call home. Get answers to your questions about local offices and candidates at nycvotes.org.